this is a classic probability problem. Um, it, you have a maze, you have two rooms, a blue room and a pink room here, and these are paths leading to the room. You start here, you can go this way, go straight, you have three choices, go this way if you want, you'll be in the blue room, or if you went straight, you would be in the blue room. If you went down, you would be in the pink room, or if you went up to begin with, you would have two choices here, that will lead you to blue ro pink room, straight would lead you to blue room, and all these will lead you to the pink room. The question would ask something like, what's the probability of being in the pink room, what's the probability of being in the blue room? So let's see how we can solve this problem. It's a, it's a middle school, I've seen problems like this in middle school text, I've seen problems like this in high school and university level text, and students use the multiplication principle, but but this really gives us an opportunity to understand why do we multiply probabilities. So we're going to do it in a slightly different way, more conceptually. Let's see if we can make sense of this. So we know this is the starting point. Okay, this is the starting point. We know that. Now these are the places where I make a choice. These are the points that determine my probability. So, here I make two choices. Well, I have two choices to make. I don't make two choices. I make one choice. Here I have three choices. I just make one or I choose one. Here I have three choices again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply 3 by 3 by 2 and that's going to give me 3 by 3 by 2 would give me 18. I'm going to pretend I'm going to play this game 18 times and I'm going dis to discuss what happens in a perfect world. So 18, I chose the number 18 once again from 3 choices times 3 choices times 2 choices and I'm going to explain why it's a good choice. So let's erase everything for now and move forward. Now and you want to make sure where 18 is coming from and we're going to explain why that's a good choice why we're doing it the way we're doing 18 is 3 times 2 times 3 so if I play this game 18 times, in a perfect world, I'm going to tell you what, what I mean by perfect world. So, in a perfect world, probability principles will hold for smaller numbers. It's, it's a little hard to grasp, but let's, let's try to understand it. So, if you play this game 18 times, we're going to pretend you're going to go this, you're going to choose this path randomly only six times you're going to choose this path randomly only six times. You're going to choose this path randomly only six times. Now you're wondering, you're, you're probably thinking, well, that'll never happen if you play this game 18 times. But if you play this game 1,800 times, 1,800 times, trust me, you will end up choosing this about 600 times, you will end up choosing this about 600 times, you will end up choosing this about 600 times. Since we cancel things in probability, we're going to do the same conceptual, use the same logic with smaller numbers. And that's why it's, it's not a bad choice. So I'm going to pretend I'm playing this game 18 times. And I'm going to pretend in a perfect world, remember in a perfect world, probability rules apply for even smaller numbers. So I'm going to go choose this six times, six times, six times. Okay, so six, six, six. Now, when I come here six times, again, recall it's a perfect world, I'm going to choose this path three times, this path three times, because they're both equally likely. So three times I'll choose this path, three times I'll choose this path. Now if I come here six times, when I come to this point, I'm going to choose this path twice, twice, twice. Again, because it's a perfect world. Now when I choose this path six times, all these six times I'll end up being in the pink room. Now I'm going to decide how many times, how many of these paths, or how many times through each path I enter one of the two rooms. So this will lead me 
three times. This path will lead me to the blue room three times. This path will lead me to the blue room twice. Blue room twice. This path will lead me to the pink room twice. This path will lead me to the pink room six times. And of course, I probably missed that. This path will lead me to the pink room three times, as you can see. Now, out of 18 times, altogether, I ended up being in the blue room three plus two plus two, which is seven times. And out of 18, I ended up being in the pink room six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. So my probability of being in each room is going to be 7 over 18 and 11 over 18. A couple of things. Why did I choose that I'll play this game 18 times? Recall, I multiplied this choices. I have three choices. Three choices, two choices. Okay, multiply those. The only reason 18 is a good choice or is a decent choice is because when you're working with 18, you don't have to deal with fractions. You could actually work with any number you please, 1100, 1200, 7, 18, then you'll have to work with fractions. So just to avoid fractions, I chose 18. Okay. And as I just said, if you, you probably believe that if you play this game 18 times, you're not going to choose dispatch six times, dispatch six times, dispatch six times, and you're right. But let's say you play this game 18 million times. Okay. Most of you, most of you do believe that you're going to choose this path about six million times, six million times, six million times. I'm going to put a little M here. Reasonable to assume that because probabilities work with large numbers. You're going to choose this path about three million times, three million times, about two million, about two million, about two million. Now you're going to be in the pink room about seven million you're going to be in the blue room about seven million times and you're going to be in the pink room if you add six million, two million, three million, about eleven million times. So your probability will still be set for the blue room it will be seven million for the blue room your probability will be seven m sorry m divided by 18m, which is 7 over 18. And for the pink room, your probability will be 11 million divided by 18 million, which is 11 over 18. Well, you probably can't see 11 over 18, so let's put it right here, 11 over 18. So here is the discussion. So it's a classic, uh, classic probability problem, which can be done very conceptually, and you can really understand what you're doing instead of relying on some teacher-given rules. So I hope you you understood the problem.